ex-Muslim day declared in India. Leaders of the ex-Muslims of Kerala, or EMK for short, recently met in the Indian state's capital of Kochi and declared January 9th Kerala ex-Muslim day. EMK is an organization that provides a supportive platform for those who, who left or who wish to leave Islam in the Indian state of Kerala. Uh, according to EMK's president, uh, Lee Yakathali CM, January 9th was chosen as the date of commemoration because it marked the anniversary of the locally held debate on Islam between Islamic preacher Eman Akbar and rationalist E.A. Jabbar. This debate sparked widespread open criticism of religion in the area and prompted many people to leave Islam. In a press release, the organization stated that, quote, the problems faced by ex-Muslims just for renouncing their religion are unmatched when it comes to other religions. Furthermore, the organization plans to take legal actions against all atrocities committed in the name of religious traditions or practices that violate basic human rights. Wow, this is fantastic. It's even being reported on the news. Is this a new segment about this? Yeah. Wow, this is a new segment. Wait, hold on. I need to share this with audio one more time. I, India, India's news is talking about ex-Muslim day? The local That's news. Fine. Let me know if you have idea. Islam Madam Ubekshit yes. the Kutai Mayaya ex Muslims okay. of Kerala Nelevil Vanu. Okay, I just understood that part. Wow, <laughs> they, they mentioned ex Muslims on new on local news. How cool so, is that? Oh, I am so proud. One more time. This was so beautiful. One more time. Look at this. Islam Madam Ubekshit the Kutai Mayaya ex Muslims of Kerala Nelevil Vanu. She said ex Muslims of Kerala. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> this was on the news, guys. Look at this. This is local news is talking about ex-Muslims. Oh, my God. I'm so proud. Whoever is responsible for this, I am so proud of you. Good job, guys. That's fantastic. Wait, scroll down so a little bit more. Okay. What is this? So here you can actually see, like, their... Um, they had like a press conference where the leadership of the organization basically announced like the formal formation of their organization and the ex-Muslim day. Um, so if you play it, you can actually see their uh, press release. Why is it is so on, speedy? Is it, Do you have it on double on speed? No, I don't. Wait, Guys, check, this is how he, check the... There's no way. No, this is how he speaks. I swear it's not on double speak. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is Guys, talking wait. very fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Um, um, wait, no, play and... the footage of that in the background, though. Just mute oh, okay. it. Okay. Because it is, then... I, like, they had a full blown press release. It's so cool. Okay. okay. Um, I have a question. These. Um, I, I'm sorry for being a little bit skeptical. I just want to make sure these ex-Muslims are not Hindu apologists, are they? Not to my knowledge. Okay, okay, okay. I just hope that these they don't go from leaving Islam to all of a sudden being defending Hindutva. You know what I mean? I don't like you know just just hoping that's that's not what's happening, right? Because I'm I have had some bad experiences with some people some ex-muslims in from india but i don't want to just you know have my you know i'm just being somewhat skeptical no um, i understand i don't think i've seen any evidence to support that thus far and also you need to consider that this is a whole organization right so right. there might be some people like that but that doesn't represent the entirety of the organization yes yes and also it's a diverse community right the people who leave islam are not inherently always going to be atheists you know this mm -hmm. so right okay um, so I, we do have some high comments we need to highlight yeah random buddhist guy is saying these guys would have been lynched in north india south is much more progressive um yay i mean yes not, i do yeah, know that yeah, south yeah, india is much wait more wait that came out i wait that came out very wrong i meant yay for north um sorry uh, for south india okay i was i was yaying the second part of this not the first part of this okay when you said south 
the South is much more progressive. I said yay because of that. Okay. I didn't say yay because of that. Okay, that I have to be. I have to be Ar very more, a lot more careful. Armin did an oopsies. I did an oopsie. I didn't. I didn't say yay for the first part. Okay, I was celebrating the South being progressive. Okay, Jesus Christ. Oh uh, wait, <laughs> Mustafa yeah. is giving me an important correction. I was saying that this is footage of the press release. This is actually footage of um, the oh, debate that I was talking this, about. Okay, so this is the debate that led into the mass exodus. Uh, yeah, th this is the Muslim. debate that uh, that's why the date is picked for January 9th, which I think is like uh, so nerdy. Like, I kind of yeah. love it. Like, our day of commemoration is because of this debate, like, <laughs> that made everyone is, question and leave Islam. Like, I love it. It's so cute. This is a Genesis story, basically. That's fantastic. Okay, this, okay, cool. Um, all right, let's go to this one. Um, Katie is saying ex Muslim communities in India are mostly really cool, at least the ones I've met. I've never met any Hindutva ex Muslims personally. Okay, good. And yeah, so and Katie, Katie is goes. also saying, I don't think ex Muslims of Kerala are Hindutva apologists. Good, good. And also, we have a celebrity here, Harrison. Oh my goodness, we've been getting a lot of celebrities <laughs> today. Hi, Harris. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, I hope cool, Harris cool. talks about this on uh, on his channel. This is yeah, so cool. no, Harris. Harris likes talking about all every time like a lot of people are leaving Islam. He highlights that, so that's a good thing, you know. So and this is also an indication of that. So I think it's very good to uh, to keep highlighting that because we keep getting this idea of like, oh, Islam is winning. Islam is winning. No, it's not. Like, um, usually the good. I mean, they have they have high birth rates on their hand but like you can see like just one event like this resulted in so much mass exodus right um there are things that will happen that completely shift things in our favor like and it's going to happen with with so much access to information and people being interested in debates and um exposing religion and stuff like that like we're going to have events like this um happening a lot more often right so i don't care how much how much birth rates like we're like i i always say we're coming after your children like you're like oh we have <laughs> we have we have high birth rates that's why we're gonna win and like hey, hey, well your kids like you're not gonna be able to raise them in a bubble like we're coming after them and they're gonna switch sides so keep making those babies you're just you think you're raising your army you're raising our army like those kids that you're making they're gonna like we're gonna yeah they're they're basically you're yeah, you know, members of yeah. They're, you're making our soldiers for us, not for yourself. Okay, we're gonna make them come after. We're gonna make your own kids come after you for your religion. So yeah, keep pumping oh, out oh, those babies. Damn. Okay. Keep pumping out those Muslim, Hindu, and Christian and Jewish babies. They will yeah, we'll coming after them. Anyways. Um. So congratulations to ex Muslims of Kerala for their formal launching for establishing ex-Muslim day. And um, I particularly like how they were talking about how very firmly they want to protect the rights of ex-Muslims because um, of what they deal with, not only from their community, but from the potential threats they receive for their open criticism of religion, which can get sketchy under the law in India. And um, their, their fight against religious traditionalism in general. So it already happened, but happy ex-Muslim day, guys. Yay, happy ex Muslim. Did you give me a gift for ex Muslim Day? D. No, you didn't even message me on ex Muslim Day. Wait, I didn't, even, you knew about ex Muslim Day. No, not beforehand because they announced it on the night. You could have messaged me happy ex Muslim Day when you found out. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> called out so hard. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Okay, we should move on to the next thing. Uh, can we clap for the next thing? Yes. <laughs> oh wait, okay. We can. It does. The picture doesn't look like we can. This is an Indonesian story. Wait, no, you're out of order. Did I miss a story? Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, I did miss a story. I was like, oh my god, we're clapping for this. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me bring that up. Good thing I checked. The, he's like, I'm like, Susie, what's wrong with you? Look at the cover. <laughs> How could we clap for this? <laughs> okay, okay. So Let, that's the next. That's the one after. I feel left out. Can non-ex-Muslims celebrate ex-Muslim Day? Of course. 
go go celebrate people leaving Islam, living their best life, being free. Yes, of course. Celebrate dissent, and uh, you know, say congratulations yeah. to your yeah. local ex-Muslim. Give them a hug. Send them some bacon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Say say happy happy ex-Muslim day to an ex-Muslim you know in your life. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.